Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name's Eric. I make apps. Now today I want to talk about building software in your head. Okay, so I nearly didn't do a video today. I was going to skip today because I've been so busy, but you know, a few days ago I did all this tough talk about how I didn't miss a whole day in January, so I thought I don't want to miss a day so early in February. So I'm putting this one out a little bit late. But hey, it was pointed out to me that this is episode 100 of Overpass Insights, which is kind of a cool milestone. Um, we reached episode 100. We got up to 600 episodes when we were doing the daily overpass. So episode 100, yeah, it's kind of cool. Anyway, so the reason I'm putting the video out late today is because I went radio silent. I told everybody I'm not going to be available. If it's urgent, contact Rowena on my team. But otherwise, I, you know, I turned off email, I turned off Skype, I turned off Slack, and I, tr I turned off my phone. I was like, I have this bit of work that I need to get done, and I've been putting it off. I had to write a specification. I had to actually sit down, get the ideas in my head for a, for a couple client projects, get it down on paper so that we could, the client could approve of it, can approve it, and the developers can approve it, and everybody kind of knows where we are. And in my head, I kind of have everything's in my head and I need to get it out there. All the conversations I've had with the clients, all the conversations I've had with the developers, what's this possible? And anything that I wasn't quite sure is possible. And for me, doing a specification document, which could be you know, 30 or 40 pages long, is like writing a term paper. Like, it's like that, that thing is, I know I need to get to that. I need to get down, I need to sit down and do it. And I just had to force myself to sit down and do it. One of the biggest skills you can have as a software developer, especially if you're working with clients and other developers, is being able to build software in your head, right? Being able, when somebody describes something to you, to be able to think, okay, I get that, I understand how it works. Thinking about the APIs and the user experiences and you know where certain buttons would go. A lot of times when I'm meeting with a client, that's what I'm thinking about. Uh, to give you an example, I'll be sitting with a client and they'll say, okay, so at my company, we have these factory workers that are working on the factory floor and they, they scan these barcodes and we need that to check with our inventory system. Now, if it's a certain type of inventory, we also want to ask them A, B, and C, or, or if it's something else, then we want to, we want to flag it up as an alert, uh, unless they're a manager. If they're a manager, then they would have this kind of stuff. So in your head, you're thinking about the whole, the whole user flow, like, you know, uh, yeah, and you're thinking, and you start asking questions like, does this, does your inventory system, does it have an API, uh, does it have authentication, whatever? Uh, and a lot of times they don't know the answer to it, so that's something that you're, it's kind of like an unknown. Like we might have to do some plumbing there, we might have to sort of hack into the database, in worst case scenario. But ideally, they'll have an API. Well, you start thinking about the layout of it. You know, when when somebody logs in and their manager, do you would that come from the API? Is that something they would go in the settings? And then you start thinking about all that kind of stuff and you know, almost like flow charts and decision trees. And the biggest thing you need to do is get that down on paper as soon as possible before you forget it, right? Ideally, you'll have a pad of paper with you uh, and a pen and you'll just sit there and sketch it out. Go, how about if we have a screen that does this and a screen that does that? If you click on that, it goes there. That works really well. However, sometimes I'll forget to bring the stupid notepad. Like I'll get to the client site and I'll be like, I forgot to bring a pen. I forgot to bring a pen. And, so, and I'll try to be all cool and use my Apple Pencil with the iPad and then the battery's dead. So it's just like, so yeah, always bring a pad of paper. And, but, but even as sometimes it's, it's, it's just, you just can't get the paper out or whatever. You're just trying to listen, like listen and just, you know, think through everything. And then it's important to just you know, write it down as soon as you get back. Sometimes I'll do it in the car. I'll do voice recording just so I don't forget anything. Because many times in the past, I thought, okay, I'll write this up, you know, next week. Or like a week later, I'll try to write it up. I can't remember anything. So that's what I was doing today. Today, I was just writing this specification, sitting down, forcing myself to do my term paper, basically, and say, okay, I need to get everything down on paper, which is wireframes of flowcharts and architecture diagrams and, you know, little bits which might be confusing and little bits where I think, oh, does, the, um, uh, does Google play game services? Does it support that? How would that work? Would it work with Unity? Well, you know, do, that's where I do all that kind of checking. And it's exhausting. It's exhausting building software before it's even available and putting in a specification document, which will go to the client. It'll go to the developers. The developers will say, hey, this is more than we thought it was going to be. And the clients will say, this is different than we thought it would be. And there'll be lots of iterations that go through but at least all of that happens before any code is written. But it's, you know, it's so tiring. Anyway, 
uh, and yeah, I used to like not quote for doing specifications, but now we've kind of moved it back. We'll do a ballpark in the beginning. We'll get the quote, we'll get uh, approval, and then we'll charge for the quote. That way we can sit down and write up this big long document of how everything works. But that part's all down to me. And today I had to just go like, I'm just doing this. So my question to you guys, for, especially for those guys who work with clients is, do you do specifications? I mean, or, or do you just, you know, talk through it? Or do you have other people who do it or part of the company? Because for me as a developer, although I'm not the developer on the project, I kind of do it. And, you know, in a way it kind of gets fun. It gets fun to build something before it's actually built and make sure that everybody works on it. But it's also like, it's, it's easy to put it off. So do you guys do that? Uh, and also, do you charge for your quotes when you do it? I'd be really interested to know that. Anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.